Hi, my name is Paul Danahy. I run the business management team for both Vplex and RecoverPoint. And hi, I'm Ashish Palikar. I'm the director of product management for Vplex and RecoverPoint. Great. So, hey, Ashish, you talked to a lot of customers. What would you say is the number one enhancement request you hear about when you talk to people about Vplex? Very simple answer. Make provisioning simple. Why? What's the big challenge? Yeah, it's, 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 an, it's interesting, right? Uh, which is we've had uh, customers who've uh, deployed Vplex and, uh, and like Vplex and, and have started to move more of their environment behind Vplex. So as, as the number of arrays behind a single Vplex instance starts to grow, um, quite frankly, managing that environment becomes a challenge because you now have the individual element managers of each of these um, arrays that you have to go manage and then come to Vplex and manage. Sure, so I mean, can you give some concrete perspective, some kind of metrics or what this really entails? Yeah, so um, what we've done in this release is uh, being able to manage the provisioning end-to-end -end directly from within the vplex uh, element manager. So you can now go to a vplex element manager uh, and in a set of four simple steps go from uh, creating, uh, creating a, basically to create a virtual volume and expose it to the host. So what that means for an end customer is We've basically gone from a process that used to take 42 steps previously to four steps. That, an, that is a 90 plus percent improvement uh, in, in provisioning time for our end customers. So if I had an environment that I really wanted to correct for, uh, protect from an active, active standpoint, and I had 100 volumes that I wanted to have exist within that for mission critical applications, that would literally have been, say, 4,200 or so steps to, to process when I'm implementing, and then, of course, incrementally as I manage that going forward, and that's now dropped dramatically, it sounds like. That, that is absolutely true, right? So you're, you're basically thinking about 400 steps, and, and that's sort of the dramatic difference. Um, so sort of it's interesting. I, I talked to a number of customers who, um, who sort of think about why should I introduce another virtualization layer right, between my host and, and, mm -hmm. and my storage. Uh, and management is uh, legitimately a big concern for those customers. Uh, with this release, we've given you one more uh, reason to sort of put Vplex in the mix because we are indeed making your management life uh, simple. That's great. Anything you can think of that would uh, enhance this conversation or have we? Uh, absolutely, so uh, the, to us, this is, a, this is a strategic approach, right? We are looking at additional capabilities that we, we can now introduce uh, on, on this platform. So um, from, uh, from an infrastructure standpoint, uh, we are looking at ways that we can expose more and more uh, capabilities of the array, uh, if you will, at the Vplex Element Manager layer. Uh, we've got some great feedback from customers who've tried this capability out. Um, so we are really excited to put this in the hands of customers and seeing, um, or seeing what their take is and, and uh, how we build on it. That's great. So it's a good advantage for people who already run Vplex, but it's also a great enhancement. So for people who are considering Vplex, it removes one of those potential objections they might that have. Is yes. That is correct. That is correct. Thanks a lot, Ashish, for, for your time today. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, great. And thank you as well.